and he's doing it so early. He's done it all his his life, you know. So it's not like he's fighting, like I said, one of these other MMA fighters that never really boxed, that were never known for fighting. Yeah, you know. So he he is. And finally, let's talk about the news everybody's talking about. More than likely, we're going to get Canelo versus Charlo. Charlo hasn't fought in two years, but still, he's a really good fighter, a well-rounded guy. You know, he's got the accolades at 160 and everything. The fight will more than likely be at 168, and more than likely will end up in Texas. What are your thoughts on that fight? Well, if, if it does go down, um, I'm picking Canelo. I think I think uh, it's a very good matchup because I've seen Charlo. Obviously, we've all seen him, and he's a very very well-rounded fighter. And, He's, he's, he's a very good fighter, but um, the inactivity and him moving up in weight class might hurt him. Um, and even though Canelo didn't look the great the greatest in his last performance, I, it was still enough to win. But uh, I, I think Canelo at 168, I don't see anybody right now still giving him that kind of trouble, especially not someone moving up in weight class. Because um, Charlo... Even though he's, 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 you know, one of the very best fighters, also, but he's been an actor for for so long, and that that plays, you know, a big big role. Um, so I, I would I would say Canelo. You said you don't see anybody at 168 challenging Canelo. You don't see Benavides there yet. I mean, Benavides could, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Why not? Because I think I think uh, Benavides is a, is a bigger threat, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, he, if he did fight him, that's that's a tough fight. That's a tough fight for for Canelo. At this point, two fights ago, a year ago, I would have said Canelo. At this point, that's a tough one. But other than that, like I said, I mean, Canelo's the champion at, at, at 68, and you know he's he's been there. He feels very natural there. He feels strong, and that's what he's done probably his most damage. You know. I, I don't see anybody else. Even though he look, he didn't look that great. I, I think you no, know, there's no one else out there like that. So Benavides would be the only exception. But I just don't see that happening. And finally, what do you want to let your fans know? People that have followed your career from the beginning. Some people that may have came in late and everything in your career. What do you want to let the fans know? You know I, I appreciate all the love and support they showed me, and and uh, I appreciate everybody who, who followed my career, who supported me, and. And like I've always said, you know, I wouldn't be who I am, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for them. So I really, you know, give thanks to everybody. Um, I'm done, I'm no longer boxing, but I still get a lot of people messaging me and, you know, showing that love. So I really appreciate it. Thanks for your time, Mikey.